friends today is the ninth day of flutter and today we are going to see button widget now basically button widget provides user to trigger an event which can be like taking actions making choices searching things and many more we can place our widget button widget anywhere in our ui like dialogs forms cards etc now button widget basically provides several types of button that can have different types of shapes styles and features now normally the features that are provided by buttons are first one is a uh, button basically apply themes which which can be shapes color animation and behavior now the second one is button is also having theme icons and text inside it button can also have different size widgets for different characteristics now we are having different types of button that are provided by flutter that are flat button raised button floating button drop down button icon button inkwell button pop up menu button and outline button so we will see uh, some of the buttons which are basically or we can say commonly used by the users so let's jump to the coding part so here is the app which we have created before so instead of this container now we are going to use different types of button so just hit control and s then this container will be removed now we will first start with the flat button now this flat button is basically or we can say it is a text label button that is not providing any decoration or we can say it is it is not display uh, displaying any type of elevation so it is a simple widget button widget now the required parameters for this flat button is the child property and on press property now this child can be the text and the on press will be null by default instead of this empty parenthesis we can also specify this null so i am going to specify empty parenthesis now we can give now just hit control and s to look how this button is so this uh, was uh, this uh, by default this flat button is taking the color of its background which is the gray color and the by default color of the text is black so we can change this color by using the background color of the uh, button by using this color property and can have this and we can change the text color by using this text color property and can specify the color which we will be want now we can give some styling to our text by using the style property so just use this style property now we can have okay we can change the size of our text as well as we can so change the styling and weight of our button now the second one a uh, second button is the uh, uh, raised button raised button is normally having rectangular shape and it is uh, providing a uh, various decoration uh, it is all very almost similar to flat button but it has uh, different uh, properties like it provides uh, elevation it increases the uh, elevation when the button is pressed it also adds some dimension to the uh, ui along z axis now uh, raised button is also having several properties like uh, text color uh, it provides uh, it can uh, we can change the shape of our button 
it is providing padding button color the color of a button when display animation type elevation this much of properties now raise button basically have two callback functions that is on press and the second one is on long press so on press is triggered when the button is pressed while the on long press is triggered when the button is long press so we will create a raised button by using the function raised button now we can specify the child as text update and uh before that let me show that on this uh, on clicking on this uh, flat button you will not having any uh, splash color while this property is provided by this raised button so here you can see on clicking this flat button only some what animation is uh, displaying now we will uh, create this on press event now just hit control and s now this is the button which is created by using this raised button uh, function so basically this ra ra uh, raised button is having uh, white as a background color and this text widget is uh, by default having black color now similarly we can change the color of raised uh, the color of the background of our raised button by using the color property and we can specify the background color like this and we can also change the text color by using the text color property now this is all about the raised button now in this raised button we can also add some splash color like uh, here we can see there is uh, on clicking this up Uh, update uh, uh, raised button we are having some elevation now we can change the color of this uh, splash button by using this splash color property now just define the color which you can see and just hit control and s now on clicking on this raised button you can have one uh, uh, splash color which is green now the third button is floating button floating action button we can uh, uh, have one floating action button now in this floating action button it is a uh, it is having one uh, circular shape and it provides two type of floating action button uh the first one is uh, normal floating action button which creates a simple circular floating button with a child widget inside it and it provide a child parameter to display a widget while the other one is floating action button dot extended function which creates a wide floating button along with an icon and a label inside it this is having a child uh, instead of having a child it uses label and icon parameter so we can have this floating action button and we can specify child as text widget and we can uh, give some text to this floating button or we can give some icon to this floating button so i'm giving text to this floating button i just hit control and s now you can see this floating button is having one text which is having string update now we can also have icons instead of this text the icon widget is normally used to give icons we will see the other property of this icon widget in the later part of this event so we will use this save icon now you can see 
the icon is display in the center of our floating button now by default this floating button is having blue color as a background and the icon is having white color now we can change the foreground color by using this foreground color property this will change the color of our this will change the color of our icon and similarly if we want to change the color of the button we can use the background property so before that let me use some color and for background color we can provide this background color property now we will hit ctrl and s now you can see the background color is changed to yellow and the icon color that that we have for that we have used a uh, foreground color property has been changed to the black color now similarly we are having floating action button dot extended so in this we can use this label and icon parameter instead of the child so in uh, inside this label i will use the text widget and will write save and for icon i will provide the icon of shape now just hit control and s now you can see a white uh, button is provided by this floating action uh, button dot extended having one label as a text and icon now we can uh, change the background color as well as the foreground color of this floating action button dot extended similarly which we have done using this uh, using this foreground and background color property inside the floating action button now these are the commonly used button which we normally use in our app the other with, uh, buttons are drop down button inkwell button pop up menu button icons icon button this will uh, be used uh, rarely in our app so for that you can refer the blog that will be provided by us so this was all about the button widgets thank you